Ever heard of a car running on water? No, it's not a sci-fi movie concept, it's real, and it's brought to you by Toyota. A new dawn is breaking in the automotive industry and it's all thanks to the innovative minds at Toyota. They've dared to dream beyond the conventional and the result is nothing short of revolutionary, a car that runs on water. Yes, you heard that right. Water, the most abundant resource on our planet, is now fueling the future of mobility. Imagine the possibilities, an automobile industry that doesn't rely on fossil fuels, a world where our cars don't contribute to air pollution. This isn't just a game changer, it's an earth saver. Toyota's water-based engine car is more than a technological marvel. It's a beacon of hope for a greener, cleaner world. But this leaves us with one burning question. But how does a car run on water? Let's dive into the mechanics of it. A car that runs on water seems like a dream. But the mechanics behind it are quite simple and ingenious. Let's dive into the science of it. At the heart of this innovation is a process known as electrolysis. Now don't let the jargon scare you, it's just a fancy word for a simple process. Electrolysis involves applying an electric current to water, which then separates it into its two basic components, hydrogen and oxygen. You see, water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, hence the name H2O. When you pass electricity through it, these atoms get separated. The hydrogen is captured and stored while the oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Now here's where the magic happens. This captured hydrogen doesn't just sit around doing nothing. No, it has a very important job. It's used to generate electricity. That's right. The hydrogen is sent to a fuel cell where it combines with oxygen from the air. This reaction produces electricity, which is then used to power the car. But what about the oxygen that was separated during electrolysis? Well, that's the beauty of this whole process. The oxygen is simply released back into the atmosphere. So as simple as it sounds, your car runs on water and air, and the only emission is oxygen. Quite a game changer, isn't it? So let's round up what we've learned about Toyota's water-based engine car. This is a game changer, folks. A technology that uses water as fuel, reducing carbon emissions drastically. It's not just about the car, it's about the potential this innovation holds for our environment. And guess who's leading the charge? That's right, Toyota, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in automotive technology. Next time you fill up your tank, imagine a world where that fuel is water. Thanks to Toyota, that world might not be as far off as we think.